The cuff mend system provides a fast and efficient technique to augment partial and full thickness rotator cuff tears using Arthroflex dermal allograft. Prepare the graft by adding a fiberlink suture tape in a cinch configuration to the lateral corner of the graft. Repeat for the other side of the lateral graft TigerLink suture. Pass the suture through the medial corner of the graft. Repeat for the second medial suture placement. Load the Arthroflex graft construct onto the graft spreader by first loading the tails of the medial number zero fiber wire suture through each corresponding arm of the graft spreader. Dock the medial number zero fiber wire sutures into the inner cleats located on the handle of the graft spreader in a crisscross pattern. Dock the lateral tiger link suture tape and fiber link suture tape sutures straight back into the outer cleats of the graft spreader. After loading the Arthroflex graft onto the graft spreader, Retract the arm by sliding the button in the direction away from the graft. Insert the graft and graft spreader through the lateral passport cannula. Once the tips of the graft spreader arms enter the subacromial space with sufficient clearance, deploy the graft spreader by sliding the button forward to fully deploy the graft. Through the percutaneous portal, penetrate the tissue with the fiber stitch device until the depth stop is flush with the graft. Maintaining slight downward pressure, roll the deployment wheel backwards until the hard stop and an audible click is heard to deliver the first implant. Roll the deployment wheel forward to the hard stop to load the second implant. Remaining within the subacromial space, advance the needle tip through the tissue in the desired location. Roll the deployment wheel backwards until the hard stop and an audible click is heard. Roll the wheel forward to complete delivery of the second implant. Upon removing the device from the joint, a suture loop and a loose end of suture will be outside of the shoulder. Pinch all the sutures and gently pull to set the implants. Identify the suture loop. Use a probe or similar device to pull the loop suture to compress the suture anchors. Tighten the construct by pulling the single suture to reduce. Introduce a suture cutter to cut the suture on top of the graft. Repeat this process with a second fiber stitch device for the anterior medial fixation of the graft. Uncleat and cut one end of one of the medial graft retention sutures before pulling on the opposite limb for removal. Repeat on opposite corner. Introduce the push lock anchor to the desired location and insert the push lock, taking care to not over tension the graft construct. Repeat for the second 3.5 millimeter self-punching push lock suture anchor to complete fixation.